So there's a lovely flowing water, just like in a John Wayne movie where they talk about stuff and how wonderful the West is. And where'd all this water come from anyway? That's what I want to know. I hear a basketball bouncing. That'll give us all a hint. Tennis balls bouncing. Another hint. We're on trail 100. And that source of beautiful water is now a babbling brook that's cutting straight north into the preserve and slashing a drain across Trail 100. <laughs> this lovely, carefully organized pile of rocks is the Dueling Javelinas trail crew repair because it was nothing but water across here when we were here a week and a half ago. And we found all these handy flat rocks and fixed it with a low water bridge. So we'll see if the source of all that water gets fixed or not. We're here on Trail 100. Hmm, which one are we gonna take? That is true Trail 100 and works its way up a trail too tough for old geezers like us, Bob and me, and gets to the ridge line a little bit to the south. So the sign is a little bit confusing. It should be an arrow straight up saying 100 goes that way. But it's confusing enough, a lot of people stay on the Jeep road, which goes straight east from here, more or less, and think that's Trail 100. No, that's an old Jeep road. Everybody goes that way. Everybody thinks they're on 100. Uh, nope, close, but no cigar. I'm way down in a hole. So this, after very massive rain events to the south and slightly to the east, would be about oh, four and a half feet of water running through here like nothing, like crazy, headed north. 
which doesn't make sense according to the way water should flow on the continent. So anyways, I got out here 10, 12 years ago as a park steward and says, gosh, look at that straight down four foot drop. Maybe I'll try to fix that. So I tried to fix it and I kind of fixed it and the next storm blew it out again. And that happened every couple, three years until finally I came along and says, you know, that happened again. It's a four foot drop at the edge of the trail on this side. How can we fix that? The water's got to go this way and people and horses and bikes got to go this way. Hmm. Why build up the trail? Let the water have a trail. Let the people have a trail and the horses and the bikes. So what we did, the dueling Havelinas Park Steward crew, great people, very dedicated, all volunteers, came out here, salvaged all of these rocks that had been brought in by trucks and trailers and things to fill this hole in, and said, you know, we're going to make a canal for the water. So we lined this whole area that gets cut out anyways with rock so it's stable. The water comes through, doesn't tear things up too bad. People and horses and bikes can come through. And if you're paying attention, you don't get hurt. So there you go. It's fixed. back into history. So when you'd go to the resort down here and you say, gee, we want to get married in the desert in a westerny kind of way, they'd bring you out here, have a little cookout. You could ride in on the wedding trail, which we'll see after a bit here. It's a single track on that hillside over there and gets you to here. You hitch up your horse and get hitched up to your significant other as part of the ceremonies. There was a uh, kind of thrown together block house. There's still hitching posts all around. There's one on the ground off that away. Uh, it's all been cleaned up now. Most of the broken beer bottles have been picked up. So, you know, sometimes it was a heck of a party. So that's what this area was. This was the wedding corral. And the wedding trail is the single track going off that away towards the saddle and a connection to Trail 25.
We're back on actual Trail 100 after riding up full Trail 100. So that was the Jeep road. And this is the single track coming off the top of the ridge that's truly Trail 100. And now it's, oh boy, both 100s at once, which makes 200. No, wait, only 100. <laughs> And there you go. Hello again on Trail 100 for the moment. This is the easternmost part of Vicky's Trail, which is the single track that goes off in the distance over that away. And we'll ride that and loop around and we'll stop and tell you when it becomes the Wedding Trail, which connects to the Wedding Corral that we were just at. So not too much of a ride, one or two, yeah, a little too tight switchbacks, but it's okay. We can ride them. We know they're there. All right, we're on Vicky's Trail, but we're on a new portion of Vicky's Trail. This much easier to follow, much more defined, not crossing habitats and water troughs and things, was built by, who else? The Dueling Javelinas. So we got out here and said, you know, this would be a lot better over this way. So we did it. Now this is not designated trail. All of Vicky's trail and Paul's trail, which we're going to see in mere moments, that was just uh, kind of thrown together by Ranger Paul. Not quite under the radar all the time, but most of the time. Um, I was the park steward volunteer that was also the surveyor's staff. So Paul was checking the inclinometer by aiming it at the middle of my pumpkin head and saying, yeah, move two feet to the left and mark that to get the right incline. So, yeah, I'm, I'm as guilty as he was. That little rocky track is the connection to the Wedding Corral off the Wedding Trail. And we are both now on the Wedding Trail after connecting from Vicky's Trail that was back that away to the east. So the Wedding Trail is this nifty little single track that goes up to the saddle, kind of to the northwest and comes off of Trail 25, which comes over from Lookout Mountain and connects down here at Trail 100.
So there's the top end of the wedding trail that we came off of. And it's approaching trail 25, but we'll get to that. This, pardon my French, is horse piss trail, which comes over the ridge from the east. And all the rental horses say, geez, this is a good time. That's what I'm going to do. That's why the name of that trail is that. Off to my left and angled off into the distance, that is the beginning of Paul's Trail, the western side of Paul's Trail, which we will get back to probably next week. And spinning about down that way, multiple optional starts, but yeah, that's how it goes. That is Trail 25, which connects to Lookout Mountain. Over that away, hiding behind the saguaro. So its route goes down through the valley, past the golf course, and get to the far side, not the underpass that the golf carts take. Be careful if you go that way. Down to the next little underpass, and that'll connect you to the golf course and a path through the golf course to get to Lookout Mountain. And we are going to return to North Mountain Visitor Center on Trail 25, which goes that away, and then down the hill. Check your brakes at the top.